Hello chess lovers, I have an interesting game for you from Pro Chess League semi-finals played in San Francisco. As you know, Armenia Eagles were playing against St. Louis Archbishops and the battle was so tense that when this game was still going on, all the games had already ended up and the score was equal. In this game, Samvel Tersakian with the white pieces was playing against Darius Schwartz. Let's see how this decisive game went on. Tersakian started with e4 and e5 by Schwartz. Knight f3, knight c6 and bishop b5. White goes for the Spanish game. Knight f6, black is choosing the super solid Berlin defense and d3, the Steinitz move, with which Steinitz scored many spectacular successes during his long reign as a world champion. Now black has several options, bishop c5 or d6, but in this game we see bishop c5, c3, black castles king side, bishop g5, h6, bishop h4, bishop e7, the bishop goes back in order to support the knight, knight d2, d6, white castles king side, knight h5, bishop g3, knight takes g3, h takes g3, bishop f6, a4, we see a maneuvering chest by both sides, still both players are strengthening their position for the final clash, g6, knight f1, with this beautiful maneuver, the knight is coming on e3 square, bishop g7, knight e3, knight e7, and we see d4, white is trying to establish a strong center, c6, bishop d3, d5 and e5. White managed to open up the b1 h7 diagonal and later we will see that this diagonal is going to be very useful for white when organizing the attack. Queen b6, queen c2, bishop e6 and g4. A very important move by white, both controlling the f5 square and also white will bring into life an interesting idea g3, king g2 and rook h1. Actually, at some point black should have played h5 preventing any g4 moves, but we didn't see that move and now white will start pressing on the king side, rook c8, in return black is organizing his game on the queen side, queen b4, and there it goes, we see a beautiful move, knight f5. An impressive knight sacrifice, but black didn't capture on g5. Let's see what will happen, actually after g takes f5 and then Bishop d7, white can play f6, win back the sacrificed piece, again with dangerous attacking chances. That's why after knight f5, black played b6, black is trying to bring into life this c5 id, here comes g3, rook c7, king g2, and after c5, the rook goes on h1 square, attacking the pawn on h6, and finally black accepted the peace sacrifice, g takes f5, g takes f5 and f6, which is weakening black's king side too much, actually capturing on f5, and then after the exchange playing rook e8 would have been better, but actually this prophylactic rook e8 move is very hard to find from afar. The thing is that now white is simply threatening knight g5 with a direct mating threat, that's why black should play rook e8, both prevent any e6 moves and also already this knight g5 is not dangerous because black can simply capture and black king has an escaping route in case queen h7. But we didn't see this line in the game, instead black played f6, here comes f takes e6, f takes e5, d takes e5, queen g4, with double attack, we see queen e2, c4, bishop b1, at some point the queen can come on c2 square and disturb black king, queen takes e6, rook h5, both overprotecting the pawn on e5, also opening up the h1 square for the other rook, queen f7, knight d4, knight g6, bishop takes g6, well instead of bishop takes g6, knight f5 was stronger, if queen e6 simply f4 and of course white has a huge advantage. But already the players were under serious time pressure and we see bishop takes g6, queen takes g6, rook h1 and queen e4 check, after which black is simply losing. Well, rook f4 according to the engine is better, though after queen d2, queen e4 check f3, queen takes d4, queen takes f4, again white has a winning position. 
or after rook h1 if we move like rook e8 then knight f5 again and e5 can't be touched because of this knight takes h6 check followed by rook takes e5 let's go back after rook h1 we see queen e4 check and it turns out that after the exchange of queens white has this knight e6 move forking both rooks rook e7 knight takes f8 winning the rook and the rest is easy this is going to be winning king g8 well King e8 would have been better somehow to block this e pawn later, but we see king g8, rook e1 coming after the e pawn, rook takes e4, c3, and after b takes c3, rook takes c3, the e pawn marches forward, rook c8, e7, rook e8, black rook is coming to block the e pawn, but now this white rook is starting to collect black pawns. Rook takes e7 and after the exchange of rooks we see rook takes h6 and black resigned. Immediately after black resigned Armenia Eagles celebrated a last minute victory very emotionally with bear hawks. Great game by Tersakian and now Armenia Eagles are in the finals where they will face Chengdu Pandas. Let's wish Armenian team good luck and wait for more victories.